please welcome Dave Thompson! Dave Thompson! It's Dave Thompson! Hello. Hiya. Wow. How are you, Dave? Oh, very well, thank you, Ed and Jen. Oh, oh thanks. Got our names. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, know our names. So, so how, how hard is it to get hard on in that costume? <laughs> um, uh, no, it's not difficult. It no. depends who you're looking at. If you were there, it would be very easy. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey whoa, I'm in love with a Teletubby. No. All right, then, OK. So, so what the hell does a, a decent stand-up comedian like you want to prance around dressed like a, a tosser carrying a red handbag, then? Uh, because uh, because you, get, um, you stay in a beautiful luxury hotel in the Cotswolds. Yeah. Uh, you get paid lots more money. And you spend most of the day lying around waiting because you know with filming there are always breaks and stuff. Yeah. So you spend most of the day waiting around for them to get the camera shot set up, and you read novels and sleep. Dave, did that? Now you were. Sacked, I used to read a novel you? a day when did I was shooting you? that. A novel well, that a day. says how much you were really. Yeah. Sort of, well, it's not hanging around, isn't there? You yeah, were sacked, now, weren't you, from it? Now that's yeah. a good job to keep. You'd want to do everything you could do to keep it. Oh yeah, yeah. Were you, was, were you sacked because? You used to roam around naked, no? No, no, it's a myth. Oh. It's a myth. Is that a myth? Yeah. How did they come up with a myth like that? I mean, I could get sacked from this job, but they wouldn't pull that one out of the bag, I hope. Well, you would neither, I hope. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, the letter I was given was, uh, said um, that my interpretation of the role was not accepted. And, mm. and, that, and if I'd been sacked for being naked, then they'd have said it was for being naked. So, so was, is this the hardest acting job that you've ever had? It was it was very hard physically, mm. but I've had harder. I've done harder work. I was wearing a lion costume. What does costume. it compare to? A summer's day or what? Uh, <laughs> you've done your research, haven't you? Um, <laughs> uh, it compares to yeah. It was it was mostly it was summer days. So yeah, it was uh, it was very hot and sunny. But I had a harder job, which was working in Hollywood uh, mm. this spring, where I was uh, being a lion wearing oh, a yeah. Jim Henson animatronic lion really? costume. And the, the Teletubbies costumes cost £35,000 each. This eight. cost £120,000. Wow. Latest technology. Amazing. Um, Where, you don't get to take that home then and keep it, do you? No. You Where don't. is the money spent in the Teletubby costume? Because, I mean, their stomach, your stomachs fur. aren't real televisions, are they? No. Um, <laughs> and basically, <laughs> your face are rolled in plastic. And you're in a big furry suit and it's foam inside. Yes, now, not. I reckon that they just banned that sum of 35,000 out about to make it seem important. Am I right or no. am I wrong? No, because, because if, you, if you look at how many uh, creatures are on television, um, like, you know, like silly kids' programs with silly creatures, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them, naff as anything. Right. But these are really well made. Right. They're made by Nikki Lyons, who makes uh, things for Hollywood. She made the costumes for Labyrinth right. and so many other the, Hollywood they're films. They're the real Monty, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, and, the, and they really are good. And it's the oldest form of acting known to humans, which is, uh, which is mask acting. I mean, in prehistoric times, yeah. we'd get the, the skull of a dead animal and put it on and dance. Yeah. And, and, and that was, it was mask acting. Wow. And in, in Greek so times, the, there was mask acting. And this is what it is. And these masks work. And we could tell, because yeah. when you're on the set, you'd get like visitors coming to you and talking to you. And you see through the mouth. You know, you, you when the mouth's really open, believe. you can see. The eyes are up here. I mean, yeah. I was over eight feet tall with so my aerial. Good, good look at everyone's bits then, didn't you? Um, well, you just saw people's feet mostly. Oh. But, but when, when people would come and talk to you, mm. you uh, if I'd stay in character yeah. uh, and talk to people. And after a while. So you did everything four times? Yeah, I, I, in the morning, I'd go on the set, I'd kiss every one of the crew. Four times. As Tinky Winky. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Can you just demonstrate one of those kisses? On Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excuse me, Ed. Actually, as Tinky Winky, as never Tinky did Winky. That. that was as me. Sorry, that was as me. Tinky uh, Winky didn't do that. I got, I got carried away. As Tinky <laughs> Winky, it'd be like Tinky this. Tinky Winky's hands were on Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Mm. Oh, this is me. Oh, 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 sorry, well, I got carried I think away. Tinky Winky. Wow. Um, in the thunderbolt well, was that? But, but, but people would look at the eyes. You'd, yeah. you'd, when you're talking to someone, after a while, they wouldn't be looking in your mouth, which is where they'd actually be looking at the eyes. Yeah. And that was because the mask had done its magic and people yeah. were relating to you, not as the person inside, but as the creature. And that's why they've had so much power and that's why they cost so much money. All right. And what, what about all the bollocks you were talking then to kids? I mean, is that a good thing or not? Uh, you have to, if, you want to, if you want to get anywhere with anybody, you have to meet them on their level. And uh, if, if, ch if children ha get spoken to in adult language on adults' terms, they switch off. Mm. But if, if they feel like they're being listened to because mm. you're talking to them and they, they've researched it very cleverly uh, and they use all the phonetics or whatever it is of, of speech, and, and if you talk to them in the same way as they speak, 
then they feel they're being listened to. So they, they listen to you. Yeah. And then you, you establish I, I, your rapport. I see your point, Dave, but they sacked you. Why are you still... It's not true. <laughs> it's rubbish. It's absolute bills. Yeah, it's true. I watched it's it this morning, and the thing was, there was a lion who was um, the bird Margot oh, from yeah. the, one of them shows. Yeah. Penelope Keith, yeah. Yeah, and there was she Eric was Sykes, in makeup who was a role. big lion. Yeah. Um, and you just, you were giggling all the way through it, you little fat telly tubby people. Um, and there was You're nothing there that was clever, I didn't think. Penelope Keith is great to work with. She was so good. Well, that says it all, really, doesn't it? I'm, I'm all for it, Dave. I think it's great. Well, I think it's marvellous. And thank but, you um, for coming on. That's all right. This means I you guess we'll say never goodbye know. now. Dave, it's been a pleasure. It's, it's time for Tubby Bye Bye. Oh. With you. Tubby Bye. <laughs> we could do it four times and we'd have the show, wouldn't we? <laughs> Boom! <Okay. laughs>